Hi, boys and girls. I hope you had a good week this week. It's been a good week for me. And, and today we're going to talk about forgiveness. The Bible says, forgive one another in Ephesians 4 and 32. Have you ever had someone that hurts you? I have. And sometimes don't you say, you know what? I'm just not going to forgive them. I don't like them. You can't do that. We have to be able to forgive just like God forgives. We disobey God and he forgives us. He forgives us of our sins. What a mighty God we have, boys and girls. Today we're going to read from Matthew 18, 21 and 35. It's a story about a forgiving king. One day Jesus told this story. There was once a man who worked for a king. The man had borrowed a lot of money from the king, but had not paid it back. One day, the king decided to collect the money the man had borrowed. The man brought before the king, and the king asked for his money. But the man had no money to pay the king. So the king commanded, You must sell everything you have and pay your debt you owe to me. Now, a debt is something that... Uh, that you owe, like he, they had borrowed. He had borrowed from the king, and he hadn't paid any back. Well, it was time for him to pay the debt. He wanted him to pay the debt, but he says, King, I don't have the money. When the king said this, the man got down on his hands and knees and begged the king to give him more time to pay the debt. Well, the king looked down at the man, and instead of getting angry at the man for begging, he did something kind. The king said, I forgive you your debt. You may go. You do not owe me anything. Well, wasn't that a good king? How many people do you know that will do that? Not very many people. Well, you would have thought the man would be jumping around and shouting for joy, but he did something that was not kind. The man went and found someone who owed him money and demanded that he pay him what he owed. The man could not pay, so he had him thrown into jail until he could pay his debt. Now, could you imagine? He didn't have the compassion on this man like the king did on him. He decides, I'm just going to throw him in jail. He didn't pay the debt. There were people who knew what had happened between the man and the king. They knew it was not right for this man not to forgive the debt of someone who owed him money. The people went to the king and told him the story. Can you imagine how the king felt? The king was angry. Well, the king had a right to be angry. And called for the man to be brought to him. The man was brought to the king. The king said... I did not make you pay what you owe to me, so you should have done the same for this man. The king ordered that the man he put into jail until he could pay back all the money he owed the king. Jesus wanted the people to understand that God wants us to forgive others as God forgives us. Now, boys and girls, how many of you have got brothers and sisters at home and you get aggravated? Maybe they take your, go in your room and they take your toys and you get real mad at them. And maybe you say some words. We should be careful what we say or what we do because it's very, very important. We need to ask the brother or the sister for, to forgive us. I've done things in my life, and I've had to say, it's wrong, forgive us. So we need to remember those things, boys and girls. It's very, very important to not get bitterness or anything in your heart. You need to ask those that you've done wrong to forgive you. They may not forgive you, but you can forgive them. So today, let's do, uh, let's pray and uh, ask God to help us this week. Uh, there's so many things going on, and I know you're small and you don't know, but we still need God to help us. 
we just thank you, God, for so many blessings that you gave us for the lesson, God, and the many blessings, Jesus. You've been so good to us, God. Remember all the situations out there. Keep the boys and girls in your care and be with them this week, God, and their parents, Jesus. Let them make the right decisions, and when they get angry, that they do forgive for someone for their wrong, God. And we just love you. We thank you for everything that you're doing. You can have your parents go to the website. There's all kinds of things that you can take off and pull off and color, cut out. I know everybody likes to do that. And there's a little picture, which will be on your screen. And it says, forgive one another, Ephesians 4 and 32. Here's the king we talked about that forgave the man that didn't forgive the man that owed him. So he was in the wrong. The king was in the right. So we want to be on the right side. We don't want to be on the wrong side. And I just, I want to say, boys and girls, that I love you very much. I miss you. I've seen a lot of you. Last Sunday, I'm going to see you again this Sunday. Pretty soon, we're going to be back in class. And I just want to say that I love you. And you guys have a good week.